Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another episode. It's early on the Monday afternoon. We're running on some wee hours of sleep because last night, Ali and I unboxed a really, really, really cool new freshwater shipment of extremely rare fish. If you guys tuned in on Facebook Live, the phone's ringing. We got people coming in. It's epic. Let's get into this. Look at these fish. Absolutely insane and epic. Some wild red eye discus. Just scratching the surface on some of the rare and cool oddball fish that we got in last night. We're gonna go through and show you all of them a little bit more in depth than the live video last night. And uh, let's get started. The yellow Titanic plecos. If you guys are looking for like the ultimate oddball a pleco, you just have everything. They, they got the color, they got the pattern. It's a cactus variety as well. So they got the really cool spikes. Again, these are in the juvenile size. Uh, so they haven't really set into their, their awesome deep colors yet on the uh, finage. Now, this guy is just epic. Look at the, you can see the colors on here. Danny's gonna get a good shot of them. You can just see how prehistoric these animals are. They just look absolutely insane. This guy is phenomenal. Such a really cool, now these are not your average pleco. Look at the streamer on this guy, on his caudal fin. Super, super neat. The colors are out of this world. The pattern is so cool. Um, they just, they really just speak for themselves. I don't really have to talk much about them or really anything, but um, a lot of these species of plecos that we got in, look at him, he's saying hi. He's just like, hello. I'll name him Jimmy. Jimmy the, the Titanic. Look at him. Such an epic fish. So like I was saying, a lot of these uh, newer pleco species that we uh, have in the store now um, are omnivorous, leaning more towards carnivorous. So they actually really enjoy um, and need some meat protein in their diet. So they love, 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 love worms, brine shrimp, mysis, uh, any of those meatier foods, clams in the half shell, they'll graze on. Um, but of course they need wood in their diet as of any pleco, uh, but really kind of a neater species to have. Not somebody that you're gonna buy just to clean your tank, but uh, really cool showpiece. They're gonna be a lot more active than you know, like your common bushy nose or common pleco that just hides and you never see it again. And over here, Danny's got some awesome footage of these guys that he can, can overlay. The Sunshine L14, this is about a 13 inch pleco, just probably one of the coolest freshwater fishes there are with color and shape. Like I said, they're, they're, they're like prehistoric, the way they swim. It just adds that that sense of, like it gives that wow factor. When, when aunt and uncle come over for Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas and they come and look at the tank and they see that, they're like, what in the world is that? And you can go into the whole thing, where it's from, what it is, what it does. And over here, the holy grail. These two fish are just absolutely epic. Look at how cool he is. Already rasping on some, here we have some clam necks, some giant clam necks, and you can see what he's done on the damage there. And he's been sifting through the sand. We fed blood worms earlier, already eating. This guy is just absolutely fantastic. His fins are almost perfect, which is actually really rare for wild specimens to come in this nice, uh, almost zero tearing in the fins and you can see just how awesome a fish this is. Every exterior fin has the red coloration. They would call this a seven pointer. That's just an absolute epic fish. Getting into some of the smaller species. We got the spotted medusa L255. This is like what I say a bushy nose on steroids. You guys are familiar with the bushy nose. They have that similar uh, characteristics the buzzy nose with those little hairy nostrils, little feelers, super, super cute. Um, they seem to be a real hit in the hobby when they have the you know, little, little bushies. But these guys are just, they got that pancake look to them with the speckling. They remind me of the, uh, the Starry Night bushy nose uh, without the ginormous price tag that comes with them. Uh, so really, really neat species. There are a few of these available as well. They're just, Super cool. It's like something you don't see very often. These are extremely rare um, for us to have in. Like I have, I don't know if I mentioned or if you guys already know, we haven't received these species of plecos in over two years here at Ocean State Aquatics. So it's really, really neat and really exciting to actually have all of these specimens in here. And some of them are, are we haven't even had beforehand. Here's another one. L15, the candy stripe pleco. Just a nice, smaller, kind of different, unique. 
looking fish. That's what this is about, is getting something that's just gonna draw your attention, that's gonna pique your interest. There's a couple in here that have some really nice yellow color to them on their entire body as well. And take a look at this one. They came in separately bagged. So probably a different location. Just displaying some, some better colors, but same pattern. It's a candy stripe pleco. I just love their eyes. Everything about them is just so, 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 so cool. Getting back into the uh, cactus, we got some smaller ones. So not as epic with the, with the really awesome uh, red on every single fin, uh, but these guys are great to kind of get into and start at a smaller size. If you really, really like the Cactus Pleco and you know how to buy the big boy, uh, we have some smaller ones that will sure grow into their size and color as they get bigger. It's just like you never see anything that's even close to being similar to that like shape and color and the cactus spikes and everything is just it. they're just awesome l81 my favorite type of the gold nuggets they got the really really nice yellow on the dorsal and caudal fin gold nuggets are probably one of the most sought after um, by a lot of wide majority of hobbyists because of their unique color pattern and the speckling with that bright yellow um, and this one specifically it has the bigger dots on it than the l177 gold nuggets have smaller dotting and they're almost kind of yellow uh, like a off yellow to white color, whereas the 81s, these guys have the really bright, uh, bigger speckling of that yellow pattern. Just to make today even more epic, we have some baby sunshine plecos. These guys are just starting to transition to their full adult colors. As when they're like super juveniles, they're more black. They don't have as big of the yellow spotting, but they're they're at that stage now where they're just getting that epic yellow color. Absolutely out of this world. I love that word. It's out of this world. All these plecos are. All the fish we got in are just incredible. Tell me that you don't want to buy that fish. I wouldn't believe you. If you told me you didn't like it, I wouldn't believe you. It's just, it's insane. Allie, right? Even Allie agrees. And she likes saltwater better. Now, to keep the theme with the cactus plecos, again, it's got that super cool, spiky look to the entire body. These are the black scarlets. There's another one right there. We got two of these available. They're just like the coolest things ever. These are some tiger plecos. Not something that's incredibly rare like the rest of the specimens, but again, something neat to have. And they have this incredible worming pattern on the front of their head. And they have two kind of like a two-tone texture. Again, another cactus variety. You probably can't really tell too good on some of the video, but they have this really cool, really sharp spines all along the body. These are the polka dot cactus pleco. They're actually a newer variety, so says the invoice. Um, they said new species, but just the L number. <laughs> so this is one that I've never seen before personally. Um, so really, really neat. Uh, those are axolotls, nobody cares about them. Hey! <laughs> we Show off the axolotls. Yes. <laughs> Danny, for you I will. Danny loves axolotls. I do. And he comes in, he checks on them all the time. Every time he comes to Seekonk and he says hello. We love the axolotls. We need to get some leucistic ones though. We do. All of the wild ones are lovely. All right, here we got the uh, Polka dot plecos. These are one that, uh, this is my first time seeing them in person. Not my absolute favorite that came in, but uh, definitely a nice, smaller, unique uh, color pattern. Another big cactus pleco. This is another one of the polka dot cactus. Look at the colors on this. We'll have to overlay some footage. You definitely can see the, uh, the spikes all along and down the side. I mean, they got this incredible, right on the side of the operculum flaps, they have these spikes and they're just such a cool, tough, armored, catfish. They're just so bad ass. You can blurp that out, I guess. <laughs> I don't have any other word. Do you have a synonym for that, Danny? Um, no. no. Just bad ass. Yeah, they're just bad ass. That's, <laughs> that's it. That's, that's awesome. It. Yeah. These didn't come, but they're still here. The chameleon whiptail cats. Look at him. He still thinks he's buried because there's a little bit of sand on him. <laughs> chameleon whiptails are still here. <laughs> Goodbye. And for the grand finale, I know we showed these off briefly in the beginning of the video, but we got the wild red eye cupina discus straight from Bellum, and they came in absolutely perfect and fantastic. They shipped amazingly well, uh, had zero stress with them at all, no laying down. Anybody that knows discus, usually with barometric pressure changes when they get up on the airplane and everything, they come in totally screwed up and messed up uh, with their swim bladder and their buoyancy, and they'll go to the bottom and they, and they just lay down and they breathe heavy. These guys came in, they were swimming up and around in the bucket, out of the bag, and right in the tank, all schooling up together. Um, they've already shown interest in food they have not eaten yet, 
But when we blow, throw bloodworms in there, they're like, they get all excited and they like kind of find them and swim towards where the food is. So I'll give them a couple more days and I think they'll be eaten up real good. But they're just, they're epic. Anybody that follows us along here on uh, the YouTubes and the Facebooks, all right, uh, has known or has seen King George. A while back, we got this really big cat bread discus. Uh, these guys are <laughs> rivaling his size. Uh, they're about as big as my hand like this. Absolutely epic. If you guys are looking for some of the coolest discus and the rare that there are in the aquarium hobby, come in and check them out. You got the instant gratification. We have six available. Actually, I'm sorry, five. Ernie really wants one, so we'll see. He has to drive up here and get it if he wants it, though. Because he hasn't seen the store yet. <laughs>